Welcome back, you guys. This is Stella's Knife Obsession. And as promised, I'm going to do a little review on this. The Wii hyphen. Just letting, letting you all know this thing is perfect for light EDC work every single day. It fits perfectly in your pocket. It weighs next to nothing. This thing doesn't even weigh three ounces at all. And um, let's see, how big is that? Um, let's see how long the blade is though. And look at that. It's basically right at three inches. If you guys can see that, I hope you can. It's literally uh, 3.1 in inches. So just enough to get arrested in some states but this thing is perfect and also if you just consider the the actual cutting edge then you're probably nowhere near three inches so let's see what the actual cutting edge is oh looks like uh, two and three quarters so about two and three quarters of an inch just on the cutting edge so, depends on what sort of laws are in your state. Do they measure the cutting edge or do they measure the entire uh, blade? But anyway, this is a work of art. I, I love uh, this type of like spiro or golf swing. Um, I don't really know what this is called. I would, I mean, scientifically I think this is a spirograph <laughs> but I don't care what it's called it's beautiful <laughs> it's just a beautiful titanium handles um, and these this pocket clip is flamed it's absolutely gorgeous all of the hardware is t8s all around the I love the way they drilled these three holes in there and then they kind of uh, board them out to where it it's just mirrored almost the edge in there is it's just beautiful so this is kind of like carrying around your own little piece of art because it just looks so good but it has that beautiful we and Civivi well I wouldn't say Civivi on this one this one's a little different but it is a hollow grind um but like I said when I did the unboxing it's kind of like a flat hollow grind it's a follow grind so yeah <laughs> whatever um, but the flipper action is phenomenal the detent is amazing uh, the even though the blade is incredibly light uh, the lightweight blade doesn't really uh, mess with that amazing action that you know and love from we and Civivi knives it's just a great all around EDC the swedge is absolutely beautiful the distal taper this thing comes to such a delicate point I would be afraid to stab paper too hard I guess it's not that delicate but it is pretty delicate this thing is definitely made for light EDC use so this is more of a looker and um, I I look forward to having it for many, many years to come. The ergos on the kite fin are, I mean, as expected, phenomenal. When I first bought this, I actually thought that this was contoured. The scales were contoured only because of the spirograph. Um, I thought I, it just gave it that almost uh, convex dimension, I guess because of the you know the spirals so it just but even though it wasn't uh, contoured I still love it and the uh, the ergos there's absolutely nothing to complain about the pocket clip rests very nicely in the palm of the hand and it's chamfered so perfectly that you you don't feel any of the edges you feel them but it doesn't press into your hand it's not it doesn't hurt anywhere. There's nothing on this knife besides the blade's edge that can hurt you. <laughs> and that's always a good thing. It has great 
jimping on the back right here. Um, eh, I mean, it could use a little more jimping, I guess, up here. Um, it's got a nice choil, so if you do tend to choke up, you're you're good to go on this. So, uh, let's see. Oh, but the flipper tab does have really great jimping. Um, it's the perfect amount, if you can see what I'm saying there. Yeah, this is a beautiful blade. Oh man, I just love how they did that follow grind. It's very nice. Okay, sorry. I just had to move that a little bit. Anyway, uh, so about this knife, um, all of the edges are really beautifully chamfered. It's a work of art. The pocket clip is phenomenal. Uh, you have literally a very tiny amount sticking up and there's a spot for a lanyard if you so choose it's just a I mean if anything this could be a conversation piece when you pull it out in, in public to whatever slice open your mail or you know cut a box up you know I wouldn't be using it on really thick uh, cardboard or anything like that not that it can't do it I just wouldn't be putting it through that type of uh, like use every day all the time but it can go through it once in a while you know I just if it's one that you want to collect but you use your collectors like I use pretty much every single knife that I have in my collection I would use any day of the week except for a couple of my customized knives but I should use them <laughs> Um, but this one, I, I recommend it wholeheartedly. This is a beautiful knife. And if you like uh, you like a pocket knife that has a little pizzazz, this has a lot of pizzazz. This thing is like an artifact that you can carry around with you and show off. And people will always be like, wow, I don't give two craps about knives, but that one is beautiful. <laughs> and I can probably guarantee that in most cases. So... Run out there and get you a kite fin. They have a couple of vari variations of this this knife too. Um, one that I know of actually kind of reminds me more of a fin than this. This this would remind me more of like the kite part of the fin, kite fin. <laughs> um, but it just has like a solid, uh, like fuller down the middle of the. It's more of a cutout, I guess. Um, just a little decoration down the middle of the handles and uh, they're flat as well but it looks cool I just I didn't want any other variation but this one and I was so so happy that I was able to score it and yeah so I will be I don't know carrying this you know here and there for the rest of my life I hope to be anyway and yeah if you guys have any questions and I didn't cover something for you um, because I, don't, I just don't have anything negative to say except for the there could be a little bit more jimping. But, I mean, is that negative? No, I don't think so. There's nothing for me to say that's negative about this. <sighs> I thought there was going to be something that I could find. But I really can't pick this apart in any way. So, anyway, I definitely recommend it. I hope you made it to the end of this long, <laughs> you know review on a knife that you already knew I loved but hey you know maybe I I said something else that you hadn't heard already I don't know if you have any questions leave them in the comments like subscribe tell your friends about me tell your family and I will see you soon